get HIV or it needs a recruitment and potential attention problem. And the only way you can encourage that is by actually offering decent wages and salaries to um, new staff that are coming through. I hear you. So you are a community children's nurse. Does that mean you're on strike I today? Am. I'm not on strike. I'm supporting. I'm the managed team, but I'm supporting my um, colleagues that do wish to strike. And I've just sort of been practicing that thing, um, telephone calls or whatever, and just. Um, well, thank you for listening, Neil. All the best. Have a good Christmas as well. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Andrea texts, the government need to stop messing about. Anyone on minimum wage gets a pay rise every few years. What are they doing with the taxpayer money that's supposed to help the NHS? Good point. Actually, there was a, under Boris Johnson, there was an increase in national insurance that was going to, we were told, sort out social care forever. Uh, not entirely sure where that went. Paul in Telford says, I won't get the one-off payment if it comes through as I work for an agency, but I think everyone should get it. I still have bills like everyone else. Sue Hawkins is in Warwickshire. Hello, Sue. Hello, Sue. I don't I know whether they do or not. No. But, but so you're a retired nurse yourself. When were you I in the am. profession? What was that? I was care of the elderly. Okay, and, and when were you when, when did you retire? Um, I gave my PIN number up about five years ago. So okay. I it's, it's, so this is the first strike in a hundred and so years, we're told. Yeah, yes it is. It is. And I I think also the leader of the RCS. She has just stirred up emotion, and when you look at the percentage of nurses that have voted to strike, it's quite small, because it has to be, I think, uh, 40% and 50%. 50, so yeah. that percent, yeah, that percent is quite small. So, you know, the nurses that didn't strike, um, you know, are happily going on. Okay, nurses' pay is low, but if you give some of the higher paid nurses 19%, they're going to be on huge salaries in that sense. Yeah, but you I know. think it's, it's not so much about the highest paid, is it? But um, in terms of, uh, there's certainly been a number of places where they voted not to strike, and there are those places, yeah. I think if you add those places together with the ones that haven't yet made up their minds, they outnumber the, the number of areas that are striking. Sure. However, we get so many comments soon from people saying that at the moment, if you're inside the NHS, it's dangerous. And nurses saying that they, they feel that the responsibility is on them to, to, to avoid loss of life. And it's not fair because they just don't have the resources. Look, that's right, they don't have the resources. But increasing the salary phenomenally is not going to really change that in the short term. And neither is training, because the course is a four-year course now. So if you train for, it's starting next September, you've still got this, this deficit of numbers. And it's that that should be looked at more than this salary. Because when a nurse has done her four year training at uni, um, she comes out and the first year or so she's still actually learning, isn't she? She's learning to care for 